So this brings us to our, our next guests, talking about de-stressing, gaining some clarity, seeing the importance of pausing uh, for leadership. And I'd like to bring on uh, right now uh, Brenda Tan, who is a mental wellness coach, and we'll bring on uh, Kevin Cottom in just a moment, an executive leadership coach. Uh, Brenda, good morning. Uh, great to have you on today. Hi, good morning. Thank you for having me on. Oh, our pleasure. And I know that you are, you and Kevin have been working on this, what's called the pause retreat for busy people and busy minds. And uh, it's an executive retreat in Hoi An, uh, Vietnam from the 27th of Feb to the 3rd of March. Tell us a little bit about that. Right. So this retreat came about because, uh, you know, post COVID and we feel that people has been very stressed after COVID. We just keep going on and going on. Uh, you know, time is not enough, feeling that uh, there's so much more to do, taking on extra roles, especially during COVID time. And this yeah. is where, you know, government has also, also put in a lot of funds in to promote about emotional as well as mental well-being. And that mm. is how this pause retreat came about, actually, for corporate people, busy people, with busy minds. Uh, this is where we actually feel we like to use this uh, retreat to actually help us to take a pause, to help us to see that, yeah. you know, taking a pause is actually a strength and it's not a sign of weakness. And very often we feel that we have to just keep going and going, especially when you know, we are so stressed, there's so much on our plate. And we don't realize that we actually, what we need to do is to pause instead, which is actually a strength. Mm. Such a good point, Brenda. I mean, only anecdotally myself and Glenn, I haven't stopped since the pandemic eased up, as, yeah. it, as it were. And it is getting tougher and tougher. And myself, yeah. like many, many of our listeners, we've had a tough few years. Nobody wants to say no to any work or opportunities that come our way. So there's a tendency to say yes to everything. And again, I know this is anecdotal, Brenda, but what are you seeing as we ease out of the pandemic what are you seeing that's a real problem for these busy people, as you say, with busy minds? What are some of the problems that stand out? Uh, well, especially post-COVID, you know, people have taken on extra roles, you know, or, or stuff on their plates, right? Because during COVID, you know, there's been retrenchment going on. Uh, it becomes very lean teams. And people have just felt really, really stressed. Yeah, and taking on more roles, uh, more responsibilities. Yeah, and uh, this is where... You know, in, in the corporate trainings that we do, the feedback that we get back from our, you know, our, our clients, and, and that's exactly what they feel. Mm. So Kevin's on a show. I mean, Kevin has... Yeah, let's bring, let's bring Kevin Kottam on, executive leadership yeah. coach. Uh, great to have you with us, Kevin. And, and uh, Brenda's been just giving us the overview on the yes. uh, executive retreat program, uh, the pause retreat. Uh, from your perspective, Kevin, why, what are you seeing in your, uh, in your leadership uh, coaching that, that makes this uh, the right time and right place uh, for this type of retreat. Yeah, great. Thanks so much, Glenn and Neil, for having us on. Uh, what I, one of the reasons that we created this pause retreat is simply because I was seeing for my clients, all my coaching, they would come to me and say, I'm so stressed. I don't have enough time to do this. I'm, I'm almost burning out. I can see some of my, my staff is in, in burning out. What do I do and how can we do this? And, and they had no time to reflect. And this was the biggest issue. And so I thought, well, when I looked at the world situation and also the, the challenges of the, the Buka world that we're in, there was really a gap. And this gap was for us to really reflect internally the self-care that we need to be able to move forward into the world so that we can, but we first of all need to slow down before we can speed up. And that was important because people say, oh, well, we're very slow in, in COVID. Yeah, but now with this pace of things that are going on, is that we're unable to handle this. One of the reasons for this is that, you know, we're not machines like technology, right? Mm. It's that we have a battery of energy, and that energy wanes on us. It's just like a computer or a phone. It runs out of energy, and we need to recharge. We need to be able to, to reset ourselves every so often. And yeah. that is an awareness, an inner awareness. And that's what I found for my clients. They go, oh, yeah, I know that, I know that, but, you know, I don't have the time and I don't have time to reflect. And I said, well, why don't we then use this time to reflect and to talk mm. about the pictures of things? And what's yeah, important? Kevin, the, the pause retreat uh, that you guys have set up is the 27th of Feb to the 3rd of March. And you're having it in an interesting place in Hoi An in Vietnam. So uh, this is a bit of an investment for business people to take some time off and, and not just go to Sentosa for a couple of days for a retreat, but to actually leave the country. And Brenda, maybe back to you. What, what would somebody get if they go to this retreat 
uh, you know, what is your plan for them? All right. So during the retreat, not only are you going to, you know, indulge in the traditional Vietnamese flavors of the food and the Indochine architecture, you know, of this retreat space, right, meditation and different pause practices we're going to have, but it's really being able to take time out for five days. I mean, look, we've been doing training for a long time and often in, in training spaces, it's usually the trainer that just talks on most of the time, right, with a little bit of exercises. And then you don't really have time to recalibrate, to think through, to so just Go into inner contemplation. So in this five days at this retreat space while you enjoy the sea, the beach, you know, the swimming pool, <laughs> yeah, the infinite swimming pool, you really have time for yourself to so actually just being able to, to pause and, and think through some of the ideas, allowing it to expand. So it's, I have a client, you know, for example, when she finally took time out from not just one, two days over the weekend, but giving herself time over five days, six days, and she realized, wow, actually she was able to, to receive very clear insights for herself, you know, expansion of her own creativity to do something beyond what she could have actually thought of in terms of her work. So at this retreat... Will this be structured, guided by you guys as well? Yes, we'll be providing 10 bit-sized classes, and then they'll be having, you know, their pause moments uh, periodically across the next five days where they can have their own time, whether it's through journaling, it's through meditation, yeah, nice. or morning pages, for example. Mm, awesome. We're going to come back to, uh, to Kevin for the final word in just a moment. We have to uh, take a quick pause, uh, however, for an important uh, SCDF announcement. But stay with us. We'll be right back with Brenda Tan and Kevin Cottam of the Pause Retreat for Busy People with Busy Minds. The Singapore Civil Defence Force and Singapore Police Force Joint Open Mobilisation Exercise is now in progress. Two SCDF units and two SPF units with the following code words have been activated. Sunfield, Bold Blossoms, Defender, Black Ninja. On being alerted to the mobilisation message, all personnel from the activated units must report to their mobilisation base immediately at once with their personal equipment. NS men who wish to inquire more about the exercise <coughs> should contact their respective division headquarters for additional information. Hey Kevin, final word to you. Listening to Brenda, it sounds like it's going to be a very meditative retreat. But what are some of the pause practices, if I can call it that, that participants can expect to engage in with it, really? Okay, you know, that's really great, Neil. Thanks very much. And I want to share with you that we're going to share with the whole concept of pausing is not just taking a break, but pausing is part of our, our life and we have opportunities to pause at all times. So for example, um, communication, it, pausing in the communication, as you know, Glenn is a speaker, is extremely important. Sales tools, it's a sales tool uh, to pause. It is a, it's a negotiation strategy. It's a leadership way forward. And strategy and lifestyle and leadership style is to be able to pause so that you have the time. So we will teach people that it is expansive. We will teach them a, a, a program or a planning, which is called Pomodoro. And it's a method which teaches you how to schedule your day and do take pauses every 30 minutes for five minutes. And then you get refreshed and you become more creative. You become certainly there is an increase in focus and, re, and to be able to become much, much more productive and efficient. Mm -hmm. And I think that yeah. that's one of the things that we were doing. We we're doing something around this inner senses to understand that we actually have a variety of senses around us and that we become desensitized and what does that do to our our life and the energy that we have and also the capacity of our minds to expand and to be able to be um, very clear because the clarity is one thing so we yeah. will do some of those and plus also meditation we will do some journaling as, as Brenda was saying yoga and we're doing a lot of walks in nature some grounding just a variety of other aspects which will be to help people to you know, so to ground themselves so that they can open up at the same time as be able to reflect on what is it my life what is it my work that i need to shift and change mm. and mm. i think that you know this is a giving you a place a space a time to be all yours and yeah you can, uh, and necessary and I, I assuming they have wi-fi so that people can keep in touch on their emails as well <laughs> We I hate to say it, but let's be honest. <laughs> but we will have times when they cannot use their Wi-Fi because yeah. it's also is a cleansing and it's also a pausing to see what that's yeah. like. 
Sure. But that's a good Kevin, um, practice as well. Mm, yeah. Indeed. How, how can folks get more information about, uh, about the retreat if they're interested? Okay, so they can actually go to our website. Um, the short URL is tinyurl.com slash pause hyphen retreat. Okay. They can visit tinyurl.com slash pause maybe, hyphen retreat. Yep, and maybe you can throw that in our Facebook Live uh, chat as well when we uh, finish with the interview so that folks can see that there. Uh, Brenda Tan, mental wellness coach, and Kevin Cottom, executive leadership coach. The Pause Retreat for Busy People, Busy Minds, happening in Hoi An uh, from the 27th of Feb to the 3rd of March. Thanks to both of you for being with us uh, this morning on uh, Saturday mornings, Money FM. Thank you. Thank you very much to both of you. Mm -hmm.